In my last session, I have taken up postfix and prefix operators. Uh, today, let's see uh, some more uh, things in postfix and prefix operators. Let's uh, do this. Evaluate A is equal to plus plus B plus eight B and here it is given given the value of uh, B is equal to seven let's say so if we have to evaluate this expression first of all you see initially what is the value of b the value of b is seven right now here we have a pre-increment here we have a pre-increment so first of all this part will be done that is b will be incremented first so here this is b fine initially it was 7 now b becomes equal to 8 right so basically when you do this plus plus b so now this part has been evaluated this has become 8 and now you have 8 plus 8b eight right so when you have this this is 8 plus 8 what is the value of b the value of b is again 8 right so this comes down to 8 plus 64 which is equal to 72 right so here the postfix operation uh, sorry the prefix operation that we have on b that is evaluated first and then it is added to 8b now another question evaluate A is equal to plus plus B plus B plus plus if value of B is let's say 15 right now here you take this first this is your B right and the value that is inside B is 15 fine okay so where do you have the pre-increment here this is the point where you have the pre-increment so this is the part which is to be done first so what happens now b becomes equal to 16 right b becomes equal to 16 right so once this is done now we can write like this 16 plus b plus plus right so this here there are two operators one is this plus and one is this postfix increment right <coughs> this post increment will be done later first we will do this 16 plus b okay so what is b b is 16 now right so this is 16 plus 16 which is equal to 32 so it basically a is equal to 16 plus 16 so this variable a this gets the value 32 right and after this step this b plus plus is done so b gets incremented to 17 this is after this a is equal to 16 plus 16 is done so after this if we print c out a and b a will give us 32 and b will give us 17 right now one more question predict the output 
of the following mm, int num1 is equal to 9 see out n num1 is equal to here I write num1 plus plus and then again num1 is equal to num1 and n right now if we look at this statement what is the value of num1 initially the value of num1 is 9 right now look at this c out num1 so initially num1 is going to be written like this equal to now here this is num1 plus plus initially the value of num1 is 9 and then we are printing the value of num1 but we have written like this right this is your c out so this one is broken into two parts like this first of all this whatever is the value of num1 that is printed okay and then it is num1 plus plus so after this num1 becomes equal to 10 right now this 9 is not there num1 is 10 fine okay now then in the same line we are printing there is no endl here so here uh, again it will say num1 is equal to here it is just num1 so what is the value of num1 now it is 10 so this is going to be your output okay another question like this if we write something like this int num1 is equal to let's say again 9 right and here I write c out num1 is equal to plus plus num1 and then num1 is equal to num1 and then end in. So here this is a pre-increment right. So the value of uh, num1 is again 9 but now in this case this c out statement is like this num1 and it is a pre-increment so plus plus is here. So initially the first thing that is to be done is this will be done so this becomes equal to 10 right after that it is printed this part this is done afterwards right so here we get the output as num1 is equal to 10 and then it will be num1 is equal to 10 once again because the value of num1 is 10 right so this way you have to do such sums of evaluation of uh, postfix and prefix and postfix and prefix operators are very important as far as you are uh, predict the output questions or uh, finding out the error questions kind of things right so the concept should be very clear so here I have taken up some three four questions on how to evaluate this uh, postfix and prefix operators right so with that i'll come to the end of this uh, session in my next session i'll take up the next topic in this lesson